All right, so we're back with Plan Stupid. That's Plan Stupid by Fender. Okay, so you'd think since Fender has now bought out Jackson and they put out Van Halen stuff, you'd think they'd know something about tone. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? Now, I'm not going to try to bullcrap you and tell you this is a, a Fender Telecaster. It's a, it's a Squire by Fender Bullet Telecaster. I ain't going to buy another Fender Telecaster. I already got one. And that one I sent off up to my son just so he could learn how to play, you know. Because those necks are like baseball bats, and if you can play that, you can play anything. The reason I like these uh, Squires, if you can find a good one, is they're not big, fat, stupid baseball bat necks. And they're cheaper. And if you can find a nice one, it is, it is nice. I mean, look at the... It's pretty. That, you know, it looks nice. That pit guard did look all right, but... I bought a mirrored one, but I'm not even putting that on. Yet. So this one's just hanging in there right now. It's just screwed in the body, because... Who cares? It's a piece of crap. It plays all right. Kind of. Sort of. Okay, so th this is just tape here. Look, see, the uh, bridge, this whole bridge configuration, this metal, it's all still there. I just have black tape on it. Trying desperately to deaden the stupid high end crap, tingy, metally. This is the whole reason I told you the Eddie Van Halen shark didn't work because of those stupid metal bracket uh, turnbuckles he's got. He ruined the sound. I pulled mine off. Sounds great. Sounds just like it did before he ruined it. Or just before he put the metal in. All he had to do is take those out. Ta -da! Then it's a star. Star body. Okay, so getting back to these idiots. So it's string through, right? Give you more resonance. It's all about resonance. The string vibrates. That vibration goes through everything. But most people, stupid people especially, if they're designing guitars, thinking that, well, it's an electric guitar, so all we got to care about is having the pickup there, and nothing else really matters, except for maybe positioning and whatever wrong so this whole metal all this is metal and this pickup was screwed just they had a, a you know pickup ring on there for the height adjusting screws that's it it was just sitting oh, well then it's screwed there's two holes in this metal plate and then you put those two screws there and then it you know it just sits there Stupid, just for aesthetics, really. So I'm like, no. Pull it off. Uh, I bolted the pickup. Well, I screwed the pickup just using those screws, kind of like as high as I could get it, and without, because I didn't want to take all this off, and put it in there, and it was kind of just sitting there, and I played it for you. That's on the other video sounds actually better than this so now I don't know why so I decided over the weekend Saturday night because I have such a unbelievably crazy life that I'd work on this so I pulled this out and I put get FU you know Floyd upgrade FU systems they have a pickup mounting system PMS F U P M S. It's all, oh, ha ha ha. Those, those guys are so funny over there. Unfortunately, George Lentz ba backs him, so you know that they, they can't be totally trusted. They've got very good ideas, but do they really work? Because George Lynch is a tone disaster. He still hasn't figured out a good tone. You know, whatever. Say whatever you want. I know the guy, I've known him for years. And Don. And my friend has just met Don 
And he had no idea Don Dawkin was who he is. And I go, call him Don Dorkin. And say, take that wig off and stop pretending that you're anybody. In fact, I bought a wig. Can't wait till I get it. Just, you know, to lighten things up. So getting back to this. I put this pickup in using the pickup mounting system through Floyd Upgrade. Which is just a piece of metal. You measure it, you put it in there, you center it, you screw it in with two screws, the mounting is a, just a little metal bracket, screw it right onto the body, then you screw, then you, there's a little height adjusting brass screw, about that thick, about that, it, there's three different kinds, to adjust the height. I pick mid, it needs to be a little higher. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter anyways because it still sounds like crap. So, put it in and, uh, you know, oh, so I undid the strings. The thing I hate most, I don't even like changing strings without a Floyd device. I don't like changing strings, period. So, just now a string broke. I was going to bring a guitar to do, uh, you know, A, B with, you know, the string broke. Because I pulled on it and it got snagged. Beep! Okay, Goodbye. Gotta wait till my guy has time to just put a string on it now. So, this is on using the pickup mounting system. So it's, it's directly touching the body. So you think, okay, that's gonna take care of all that metal, tinny sounding crap, right? Look at this friggin' uh, the uh, toggle switch. It says rock and metal. <laughs> cool if it was on a cooler guitar I thought it would be cool by today but no because when I came in here to test it um, I couldn't turn it up uh, so I was using headphones and I could tell then it didn't sound that much the improvement wasn't really there I'm thinking maybe it's the headphones but usually stuff sounds better through headphones especially using the code 50 so, after all that bull crap, um, so I put this back on. I, actually, what I did is I had to pull it, undo the strings, pull this up, mount the pickup, hoping I choose the right height adjusting, which I didn't, but, you know, mid's better than nothing. So, bring it back down, mount it, four screws, put these back saddles, Back in the saddle again, and this I hate this because it's only full, uh, two, a volume and a tone. How do you go? Ba, 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 ba? What's this up here for? Why did they put it up here if you can't go? Da, 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 da? That's the whole point of the, this whole Les Paul setup is so you could do stuff a Les Paul does. So far, this is a massive failure if, as far as construction. It's a piece of shit. So that's why you can pick them up for nothing. So, if you get one of these and expect to plug it in and sound like Eddie Van Halen or anybody with a decent tone, you're going to be really or John 5 because his isn't like this either. So, I've had to go and order a separate bridge like this. I don't know. I might get a... Uh, What do you call it? A Kaler. Because, you know, everybody goes, well, that's a big piece of metal, too. Yeah, but that big piece of metal isn't surrounding the friggin' pickup ring. It's not going to affect the tone of it. Some people say it does. Dave Mustaine and a couple others. They're full of crap. I've had one on my guitar for since 1984. I love it. It's the best sounding guitar ever. It's got a great, huge, thick sound. So, wrong. Here, you will hear it. So here we go, listen. You got a tune already? Thank you. 
There's all sorts of weird stuff going on. It's not going out of tune, but it sounds like it's out of tune. It's an intonation. It's got to be intonation. That's what happens. I mean, that's when you know it's okay, because I thought I did a quick intonation. So, this is tuned to D. So, if I hit, put this on, a quick way to see if it's intonated properly.
pleased with this sound. That's why I just went crazy then. So, <clears throat> it's got that tinny thing to it still. Don't like it. So, I'm going to pop this bridge off so it's just like this, kind of, you know. And uh, mess with this pickup, the PMS. <laughs> and this, who cares? Probably just uh, put it in there with a ring. I'll keep this out. There's tape right here. I'm, and you can see this. See what's going on? So, I think there's there's definitely possibilities for this because the neck is good even though it's way out. I think I kept it untuned for two days and the neck is like because the weather's changing. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's it or if it just needs to be intonated. Oh, shit.